like put them on the top and just take them out just the way they they put them in i don't like that i like when mine basically cook through a little so that's why i'm putting all them. right people at that we are look like mm-hmm I don't even know where I put the bigger spoon, but the only thing is the okra, I'm just pushing them down a little bit more so that they can <laughs> Welcome, welcome, welcome back viewers and subscribers and thank you all so much for joining me. So today your girl is back with another cooking video and as it is shown in the title below, yes, I'll be showing you all how I prepare the authentic Jamaican steamed fish and crackers. Yes, steamed fish and crackers. Alright people, so over here I have all the ingredients, but before I jump into that, you don't know the drill, go ahead, subscribe to my channel. Hit the post notification bell, like and share this video with your friends and family, no man. And if you already did, thanks for the love and the support. So, yes, I'm going to go ahead now and show you all the ingredients. So just forward with the eye over your soul. Okay, my quick kick it off now. So here I have the um all the ingredients that I'm gonna be using for my authentic steam fish and crackers. So here I have the main ingredients: two red snapper. I already went ahead and cleaned them up, as you can see. <clears throat> it's clean, very very clean. Yes, yeah, so I went ahead and cleaned them up and sliced them three times right there. And this is not maggi fish seasoning. Here I have this is the um the garlic, my flavor god seasoning rather. This is the garlic lovers, and here I have um the maggi season up all purpose, and here I have some black pepper, and here I have some grace noodle soup. I did not get any fish tea, so I'm gonna use this one. But what I'm gonna do, the reason why the strainer is here is because I'm gonna sieve it and I'm only gonna use the powder, I'm not gonna use the noodles. Yes. <clears throat> And then over here I have half corn and a cob and I slice them into small pieces. And here I have some spring onions. Yes, I cut them in big piece. You can cut your vegetables uh, to your liking. Here I have some chopped onions. Here I have some yellow pumpkin. And here I have thyme and half of scotch bonnet pepper. And here I have four different color bell peppers uh green orange red and yellow here i have some garlic about this is about three garlic and here i have some butter and you don't know okra i'm not a fan of okra but i'm just gonna do it because you know yeah this is steam fish and here i have some carrots and uh potatoes the reason why i slice them this way is because that's how i like it you can go ahead and slice your vegetables whichever way you feel like and i have it in some water here some cold water i don't know don't know can't be steam fish without water crackers so yes yeah, so these are the main ingredients i'm gonna go ahead now and put all the seasoning in one bowl and i'm gonna season my fish and then i'm gonna come back and kick it off stick around okay so in this bowl right here i went ahead and add all the seasoning all the powder seasoning um and i also add, added half a teaspoon of salt so i'm just gonna go ahead now and season my fish so i'm gonna put some of the seasoning there and i also added some black pepper yep <clears throat> And I'm gonna put some of the seasoning inside. Yes, especially in the head. People me love fish head. Mm hmm I say that's why my head's so big, can eat too much fish head. Wait a minute. Wait wait a minute. How wait first of all, you're not gonna speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. <laughs> but anyway, yeah people, so you just wanna use your hand and basically just Squeeze it down so the seasoning can sit perfectly. Flip it over and do the same thing. It's 
Steam fish and okra body. Steam fish and okra body. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna do the same thing for the next one. So I guess this is mother and daughter or a father and son. Comment below and let me know if you think these um two fish are related. Or maybe a wife and husband, who know? Could I have maybe a mate and a, 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 a wifey too? A oh my god! Never know. But anyway, yes, people. So you're just gonna basically take your hands and sink, squeeze it down so the seasoning can sit perfectly. Alright, people, so this is the skillet that I'm gonna be using. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead now and add some water. Um uh, I'm gonna add ample amount of water because I want at the end when I put my crackers in I want them to basically cook through a little so yes that's why I'm gonna be adding about two cup of water so yes I'm adding about two cup two cups of um water right now later on if I feel like add some more I will go ahead and do that next I'm gonna go in with them this is the powdered um from the the chicken noodle soup that i told you all that i was gonna save yes i'm not using the noodle i'm just using the powder and i also went ahead and add one of the maggi fish season up um seasoning to to this and i'm gonna go ahead and put half of it inside the water just half later on at the end after i add the remaining ingredients i will also um i will add the rest so yes i'm just going in with half and next i'm gonna go and add my pumpkin yes i'm gonna kick it off with the pumpkin guys lord that one you're going nice mm -hmm. so i'm gonna leave the pumpkin to cook for about five minutes and then after that i'm gonna add the um the corns and my potatoes and my carrots so i'm just gonna cover this and leave it to cook for about five minutes and then i will add the rest of the ingredients and i'm also gonna add half of the butter yes and then later on at the end i'm gonna add the next half so, all right people so now that we're getting where we're um what we want all right so now that the pumpkin actually comes to a boil. This is about six minutes. It's not cooked. But I'm just going to go ahead and add my corns. Corns are easy to cook. Depends on the corn. So yes, there I add my corns. Then I'm going to go ahead and add my potatoes and my carrot. So we're just going to let it cook for about seven more minutes. Then we're going to add the main ingredients, which is the fish. Mm. So... Yes, people, I'm going to just leave this to cook for about seven more minutes. Let me put everything in. Yeah. I'm going to just leave it to cook for about seven more minutes. So now I'm going to add some salt. I'm going to add a little bit of salt. About a, um, half a teaspoon of salt. We don't want it to be salt because the, um, the, the pot noodle powder is already salt okay people so now i think it's time to add the fish look at that look how beautiful that is people and i haven't added all the ingredients as yet so now i'm gonna just go ahead and move them over to the side just gonna move them over to the side because i'm gonna put the fish in the middle kind of gonna have a problem doing that but we are gonna improvise and um and get it done one way or the other so yes i'm gonna just go ahead now and add the fish I'm gonna add the remaining of the seasoning that I had left yes I'm just gonna go ahead and add that in the 
Then I'm going to add my bell peppers. white onions so yes i'm gonna just go ahead and add some white onions and next up is my garlic i did not mince mine because this is how i like to cut them when i'm doing steamed fish but you could go ahead and mince yours do it to your preference to your preference yes so next you don't know i'm gonna add the thyme because we want everybody to cook through. I'm wondering if I should use all of this pepper. It's not that hot, but it's hot. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut the pepper in two of my butter. Just drop that right in the middle. This so. Mm -hmm. Right there so, people. Oh, I think I had some of my garlic remaining. There it is. And of course... I'm going to now add my spring onions. So like I said, this, this was how I chopped mine. You, you can go ahead and um, cut yours to your liking. So I'm just going to leave this and let it cook for a while. I'm going to taste the, the broth and see how it's going so far. If I need to add any more seasoning or what. I'm not lie, it tastes good. It is yes, I'm gonna do about maybe every two minutes. I'm gonna open it and just add some water on top of the fish. Some people flip their fish over, some people don't. I might flip mine today because, like I said, the pot is a bit small. I might flip them, I might don't flip them. Depends on how they are cooking. Mm. Look at that, people. Look how beautiful this is, and the color is definitely to die for. I ask you, I tell you. So yeah, I'm just gonna leave this to cook and then I'm gonna come back. You know, I still have my okra. I'm not gonna add my okra now because they're very easy to cook. I'm gonna add my okra. All right, people, time for the test. Look at that. Let me turn the stove all the way down. So like I said, every two minutes, I'm basically just gonna Go in with the water and add it on top. You can flip your fish if no, you want. I'm going to just go ahead and add my okras. I don't like okra, but steam fish cannot be steam fish without okra. I don't even know if I'm going to add if I'm going to add all of what I have here in the container. Not really a fan of okra, but I'm just really doing it because it's authentic. No. I like when my crackers basically cook when they're soft. I don't like when they are when you put them. Some people just like put them on the top and just take them out just the way they they put them in. I don't like that. I like when mine cook basically on top of my cracker. Mm -hmm. Yes, people. Yep, yeah, people. Yeah. But babe, I want you to call up on this and tell me what you like. Did you understand what I just said? Uh, no, I just want to wipe. <laughs> People are married to a white man and the man the part one is not too good. I just said, babe, come look on this and tell me what you like. And he said he only heard like. So tell me what you think about this. Remember those fish that we bought yeah. at the fish market? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. You gonna try some? I'm gonna try it. All right. See, people, I'm gonna try some. So that's steam fish and okra something. Yeah. Let me tell you about it later. All right, so I'm just gonna close this and let it stay for a few All minutes. All right, people, at that, we are look like. Mm -hmm. I don't even know where I put the bigger spoon, but the only thing is the okra, I'm just pushing them down a little bit more so that they can cook. Just for like two more minutes. And then we are going to play it and come back on camera. Look how pretty that is, people. Me not lie. Me need to open a restaurant, you know. I'm going to consider it. Yes, people. So stick around with me and I'm going to play it and come back. All right, people. See there? I know if nor but nor supposed this tastes good. I tell me, I tell you, I say it kick off. People, it shot well like kite. Me not lie. So there you have it, my authentic Jamaican steam fish 
and crackers. Yeah, people. See it there? Mm-hmm. Manal life. Manal life look good. It look good and it tastes good. So go ahead and try it, people, and leave a comment below and tell me how it turned out. Pretty like a money. Look at that beautiful color. The only thing is the pumpkin is a little bit too soft, which you can see there right there. But that's okay, cause we're not going to swallow them whole, don't Yeah. <laughs> anyway, people, thanks for watching. I don't know, don't already like this video, share with your friends and family. And feel free to leave a comment below. So yes, this is my authentic Jamaican steam fish and crackers. Let me zoom down on it. Tell me who from out around water today. Tell me. Mm -hmm. Alright, people. So, there you have it. My authentic Jamaican steam fish and crackers. Mm-hmm. Y'all you better can cook. Think you're there for your pretty look. You want to live a restaurant and go down man bank book. Cook a e recipe book. Manalai. Yes, people. So the steam fish is here. My husband said he's going to try. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share this video with your friends and family. And feel free to leave a comment below and tell me what you think. I love y'all and thanks for the continuous support. You don't know the drill. Remember to put God first, second, third, and watch your blessings flow forth. Your girl is out for now. People. Thumbnail. Want to give me a thumbnail? Eh? Thumbnail. Yeah. Yes, goody. Mm -hmm. Steam fish. I'm up. right here, people. I'm a fridge. Two red striped beer. Me not lie. Yeah, so nice. The only thing missing is beach. And of course, we can't go upstairs and fill our bathtub of water. Nobody can stand on beach today. So there we have it. We are going to enjoy our steam fish and crackers with, with two red striped beer. Cool red striped beer too. Me not lie. So thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in my next video. I'm out. Just levitate